Hey everybody, it's Adrian from Zanza's Toys, and today we're going to be talking about an oscilloscope. So today I'm going to be showing you how to assemble our 1 18th ish scale toy oscilloscope. And what's really cool about this is it also has this fun play feature where if I turn the knob here, our display goes squiggly. So you go from a straight line to something kind of like a sine wave. Okay, so first off, let's just have a look at how this all fits together. So here we see the parts before they're assembled, being assembled, and the finished oscilloscope from all angles. So naturally, the first thing you have to do is print the parts. I printed the parts in two sets, one for each of the two colors. I printed the front panel and the arms that pass through it in black, and the rest of the parts in a light gray. You can choose any color you want, but definitely print the front panel and the arms that pass through it in the same color, and make sure that that color, whatever it is, is a contrasting color with the color rubber band you intend to use. So you can see I've got all my parts printed out. I've got uh, the top, the bottom, I have an axle, I have the cam, I have the front panel, the knob, and I have two of the bottom arms and one of the top arm. It's easy to get those turned around, especially if you've printed extra. So the bottom, if you look down, this extra bit should go to the left. And if that's the left, the bottom goes low, Whereas the top, if you hold that to the left, the top goes high. I also have some super glue, just a little, little tube. I also have the one non-printed part, some rubber bands. So these I got uh, at, a, at a dollar store. They're often sold as, as hair uh, ties. But what's great is they're just the right size and they come in bright colors, which is perfect for what we need. Okay, I'm ready to start assembling. So the very first thing I'm, gonna, I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the knob onto the cam. And you'll see, so to show you how this, this fits in, so this drops in like that. And notice that one side is longer, that's the side that sticks out. So that, and that's the side that we're gonna to wanna to put the knob on. So what I'm gonna do is get my trusty super glue and just put a tiny dot in there. And now I'm going to stick our, again, the long side in. And that's that. And I'll just set that aside to set up a little bit. Now, the ne now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to put the front panel into the bottom part of the half of the case. So if your printer is anything like mine, there's gonna be a slightly nicer and a slightly less nice side uh, to your front panel. So make sure, uh, this I think is a little, a little nicer. So I'm gonna make sure that's facing forward. So, but before I put it in, I'm gonna put just a little dab of super glue right there and right there. And I'm going to slot this in, again, making sure that the nice side is out. It's probably going to feel pretty loose. That's fine. It's, uh, it's, it'll hold together nicely once it's all in. Okay. Now what I want to do is take my axle and put my arms on it. So I'm going to take one bottom, then the top then another bottom. So I have something like this. And if I look down, I should see something like that. So we've got bottom, top, bottom. And it's gonna sit in like this with all the, the raised bits facing left.
And now what I want to do is make sure my super glue sets up both on the knob and on the front panel. So I'll give that a little time. Okay. So I'm going to take my assembly here and I'm going to, I'm going to take the middle one and bend it back. And I'm going to take these two and weave them through the left and right slots in the front panel. It should go through pretty easily. So just set it through. And now what I want to do is drop the axle into its home, its base. Okay, so this is still free, which is fine. I'm going to bend that back for now, just to keep it out of the way for the next bit. I'm going to take our cam and place it into the housing. Now what I, the, this, this next part is slightly tricky. It's not that bad, but it's a little tricky. What I want to do is I need to get this piece through the middle slot. So generally, it's not too hard to do if you just hold on to the cam, to keep, which will lock in the two bottom ones, and then grab this and kind of just bend it a little bit until it snaps in. Okay, and we're good. All right, so now we're almost ready to seal this up, but we still need to actually put the rubber band in. So we need the rubber band to go around the front, and then we're gonna put it on either side of the, the arms and put it around this peg. That's why it's important to use, start with the bottom because that's where this peg is and we'll need that. So I'm going to get my rubber, rubber bands. And again, one of the nice things about the, these uh, hair bands is they come in nice bright colors. So I'm going to go, I'm going to be traditional here. I'm going to go with a green, a nice bright neon green color. And I'm gonna hold my thumb on, on to keep everything inside while I wrap this around. Now you will need to get, eventually, and it's a little hard because all the plastic's black, but the, try to see it, there you can kind of see. So each one of the arms has a little uh, sort of forked end to hold the, rub the rubber band. Uh, don't worry too much about getting that set up just yet. You can fix that later. The main thing is just getting this around the front and then pulling it around the peg in the back and making sure everything is seated nicely. So the rubber band actually does a couple things. It also, not only is it, you know, does it serve as the, as the display, but it also is the, uh, make sure it provides the return force uh, for the cam. As once we get everything hooked in, it's going to want to keep the three arms aligned horizontally. But at this point, we're ready to, to seal it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little super glue in these holes. Uh, and a little bit along here. I got a, that's a little little much, so I'm going to just try to get that spread a bit and I'm just going to actually wipe some of that off. Okay. So now I've got this ready to go. Oh, I'm also going to put a little super glue in here, which is where the the front panel attaches or slots into. Okay, and I'm just going to put this all together. Okay, there we go. So now we're almost done. And if I turn the knob, we'll see that the middle arm goes up and down, which is what we want. The only thing that's missing is we just need to make sure that the left and right arms also have, uh, have, have captured the band. So that can be a little tricky. Sometimes you might want to use, uh, if you have some tiny pliers or anything you can pry with, uh, and, Tweezers would be really good, but you can also just kind of work out it. So I just kind of worked out a little bit, and now we can see that we have the action we want. It sometimes slips out, but uh, 
There we go. So we have straight to wiggly. And straight to wiggly. And one kind of nice thing about the way this works is it doesn't actually matter which way you turn the knob. So in both cases, what it's doing is it's just spreading those arms apart. So the bottom ones go down and the top, the middle one, I'm sorry, the left and right ones go down and the middle one goes up no matter which way you turn it. And that rubber band also makes the arms want to go back to where they were. So again, <laughs> snaps a little bit, but that's pretty much it. So now the only thing that's left is some cosmetic things. And that, uh, so I'm going to let this super glue set up and then we'll add the two final touches. Okay, so for our two final touches, we have a little instrument panel and we have a support. So the support is the last thing we'll do. Uh, the instrument panel does need a little super glue. <laughs> and it's always good to, to print some spares of tiny parts like that <laughs> in case they go flying. Okay, I've retrieved my instrument panel. It's none the worse for wear. And what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit, drop of super glue on the back. And then I'm gonna mount this right here. So I, I think it looks better with the dots on the top, the circular bits on the top and the more rectangular regions on the bottom, but that's up to you. And that's pretty much it. So the one last thing is we're just gonna take this and snap it in. So there's holes on either side and I'm just gonna kinda work that across, snap it in. And there we go. So I think this, uh, I needed to clean these holes a little bit more than I did to make this snap in, but that's the general idea. And then winch. And there we go. This toy oscilloscope. Yeah, so that's about it. There's our oscilloscope all done and ready for play or inclusion in a diorama. Just the thing if you have a mad scientist lab or some secret facility that is building who knows what. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching that. I had a blast making this. I was really happy with how it came out. Uh, if you'd like to get the files and make one of these for yourself, uh, just check out the links down below. So if you enjoyed that and you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks a lot. See you next time.